everybody. This is D Hunter, bring another action figure review. Today, we're going to look at the McFarlane DC Multiverse Final Crisis Black Lightning. This is part of the newest Walmart exclusive figures. It's a gold label figure. Now, these are Walmart exclusives in the US, but I ordered this figure from Figurine for All. Both Figurine for All and CMD Store had these figures in stock, but they sold out real quick. So let's take a look at the packaging. As you can see, the top. 22 moving parts, McFarland Toys, ages 12 plus. This is part of the Gold Label Collection. A Gold Label figure is simply a retailer exclusive, whether it be Target or Amazon or GameStop. This particular Gold Label is a Walmart exclusive. DC Multiverse, Black Lightning. Here he is on the package. Looks like he has a total of four hands, display stand, collector's cards, and then a couple of lightning action effects. One side of the package, Black Lightning from Final Crisis. Other side, Black Lightning. The bottom, bunch of credits. There's his barcode. And on the back, here's Black Lightning pose up from the comics. So with no further ado, let's open them up. And I did end up getting both these figures, Black Lightning and Vampire Hell Jordan, both from Figurine for All, although they've been spotted in my area at Walmart by now. All right, now that this figure out of the package, here he is with all his accessories laid out. He comes with a display stand, a collector's card, and then two alternate hands. Two of his hands have lightning effects, and two are regular. But before we take a look at all that, let's talk about and check out the actual figure. So this is Black Lightning, another DC hero. His real name is Jefferson Pierce. He's a tremendous athlete, even won an Olympic gold medal. He eventually became the hero. Black Lightning has all kind of lightning abilities. He decided to do that to protect his underserved neighborhood. By day, he's a teacher, and at night, he becomes Black Lightning. He's also the field leader of the Outsiders, so you could kind of consider him to be a Batman-related character, as we have Batman and the Outsiders in the Rebirth, Batman leading that team, and Black Lightning here being his field leader. So let's take a look. Black Lightning here, another normal-looking DC hero, another one to add to the roster, that's excellent. He's got the domino mask on, yellow eyes, hair looks good, line is clean, crisp, good paint job. As we go further down, this guy shares a lot of parts with the speeding bullet Superman. He's got the lightning outfit, blue, light blue, dark blue. His hands have lightning effects. It looks pretty cool, and I love the fact that they gave you the option to use them or use regular hands. Now, his belt looks cool, the lightning around it, but it's a belt sculpted on top of the existing belt, and that part is lazy and sucks. You're telling me they couldn't use a different diaper piece for this? There are so many to choose from. They could use a whole body and then a different diaper and then put their own belt on it. I don't know. I find McFarlane doing more and more lazy stuff, and that does kind of suck. Nice little bit of sculpting on the side there. Definitely screams speeding bullets Superman. I don't know if it's accurate to Black Lightning. I can only imagine it is not. Double jointed knees, double jointed elbows. Yep. So, really happy to add this guy to the roster, but I think they could have selected some better parts to make him with. Do not get me wrong, the Speeding Bullet Superman is a very nice figure and a very nice sculpted body, but between the belt and that stuff going up and down his sides, that is a terrible choice to use for Black Lightning, and there are so many other bodies they could choose that are better appropriate. It just seems very odd, very lazy. And it's not even lazy, it's just stupid, because lazy, there are so many other options they could do if you're being lazy. This is just stupid. I'm complaining, yes, but at the same time, Really happy to add Black Light into the mix, a normal looking one that can add to the Justice League roster. But from afar, he looks awesome. Those flaws aren't really noticeable, but when you get him up close, you're kind of like, what the fuck? And you know what? After all that bitching and moaning I did, the figure still looks good. Imagine how much better it would be if they made slightly better decisions on the reuse. Just saying. Just one more look at the side of this figure. I know I'm beating Dead Horse to the stick. This isn't even Lazy. Lazy would be using the Blue Beetle Booster Gold body again. Or maybe a Superman body. Why didn't they plug in the Superman arms? Superman legs. Different diaper piece. That would be Lazy. This is just stupid. What a poor decision to use. Could have used the torso and all that stuff and just plugged in different arms, different legs, different diaper. I, I, I don't understand it. Whoever decided to do this... Fire that guy and hire me. My word. I take a closer look at his face and head sculpt. The sculpt looks good. Head looks good. Paint job's on point too. 
Nicely done. And here's the figure broken down as far as you can go, with all of his removable parts detached. Now check out his accessories, starting off with the boring stuff. Here's his display stand. Typical McFarland stand we've seen countless times before. Black perfect circle, thin, basic. Now for his collector's card, which is another example of a bad decision. I don't know who was in charge of this figure. So, as you can see, it's Black Lightning. Black Lightning from Final Crisis. Only, this is not Black Lightning from Final Crisis. I'm not sure what the version this is. But Black Lightning had hair just like the figure in Final Crisis. The figure is accurate in that form. But the source material, the art they chose, is definitely not from Final Crisis. Maybe it's from Rebirth. A little description on the back. Just seems really odd to pick art from something that looks different from the actual figure. And this is not unusual. They do that a lot with the collector's cards. Now for his hands. He has two of them, two left hands, two right hands, and then two of them have the lightning effects attached. Here he is with his regular pair of hands. His right hand is a fist, his left hand is open. And here he is with his other two hands. These ones have the lightning effect. This pair, his right hand is open, his left hand is a fist. I really like the option to have both regular hands and these hands, that's great. And I was curious, how would this guy look under black light? Well, the lightning hands look fantastic. Unfortunately, the little plastic in his elbow joint also lights up. Still, looks pretty cool. Almost like we have lightning going up and down his arms. Now I wanted to check out the reuse between Black Lightning and the Speeding Bullets Batman. Obviously the head is different. The torso looks exactly the same. Stomach, also the same. The diaper is the same. The Batman belt here. Have the Batman belt under the Black Lightning belt. Shameful. The arms look to be the same, except the forearm is different. The legs are the same. Although, they switched it out down here. The boot, definitely different. It doesn't have the same texture or the top boot cut. Interesting. Still, it's a mystery and perplexing why they would pick this body and insist on using it for Black Lightning. Body itself not bad, but I don't know. I just find it very odd they didn't do something different there. Now I'm taking a pretty good look at both the figure and his accessories. Now let's check out his height. From bottom to the top of his head, staying at about 7.2 inches tall, which can translate to about 18 centimeters. And now for his articulation. Starting with his head, of course, you're going to rotate from side to side. He can look up and down, pretty good amount. Tilt his head from one side to the other. Shoulders, ball joint, more than 90 degree bend, up, down, around. He's got a butterfly joint between his shoulder and chest area, increasing the range of motion and covering up that large gap that would be there. Bicep cut, although you don't get a very wide range there. Double jointed elbows go all the way in. His wrist rotate and it's hinged. Torso, ball joint, rotate around, forward and back. Another one is waist, rotate around, forward and back. Between the two, very good range of motion is torso area. Complete of splits, McFarland style hip joints, rotation, not too bad on him. They go forward about that much, back not at all, double jointed knees, and then his ankles, forward and back, rotate, tilt rock, and of course, toe articulation. Here's Black Lightning defending the streets of his neighborhood, and when they don't listen, things get serious. Here's Black Lightning, charged up. Ready to clean up the streets. Now let's check him out. Next is some other action figures. Starting off with some other Black Lightning figures. Here he is. Next to Mattel DC Multiverse Black Lightning. This is the version from the back of the package in the card art. He has the same costume as this Black Lightning, but he's bald. This one has hair. And here he is. Next to another Mattel Black Lightning. This one is from CW's Arrowverse. Here are all the different Black Lightning figures I have. I don't have a lot. I'd say this McFarlane one is probably my favorite. And now let's check him out. Next to some other electric DC characters. Here he is, next to Livewire. Then, next to the electric Cushioner. Now let's check him out. Next to some other Walmart exclusive McFarland DC Multiverse figures. Here are the two most recent McFarland figures. Black Lightning and Vampire Hal Jordan. Before that, the previous two Walmart exclusive figures were Captain Atom and Vampire Superman. And before that, it was Beast Boy and Vampire Joker. And before that, it was the Eradicator and Vampire Batman. There have been a ton of Walmart exclusives before that, but these are the most recent. McFarlane has given us a lot of B and C listers 
for the Justice League side of DC figures recently. Regular, modern, or iconic looks. Beast Boy, Captain Atom, Firestorm, Black Lightning, Hawkman, Impulse, and Supergirl. I love these kind of figures. Regular, normal releases to fill that slot in your collection. Now let's check them out. Next is another recent release, McFarlane DC Multiverse figures. Here he is, next to the black and gray Hush Batman, and the GameStop exclusive Batman and Bat Raptor 2-pack Batman. And here he is, next to some recent Target exclusive Gold Label figures. We have the Ted Core Blue Beetle, Supergirl, Sinestro Core Batman, and Impulse. Then, next to the Jokerized Dark Knight Trilogy wave. And now, with even more Target exclusive Jokerized stuff, here's Black Lightning. Next to the second wave of McFarlane Collector's Edition figures, we have Firestorm, Hawkman, and Sinestro. There's a Planet of Chase variant of Firestorm and Hawkman, and probably Sinestro out there, although that hasn't been confirmed. I'm on the hunt for all those guys. And here he is, next to the Amazon exclusive Batman, Clayface, and Batwoman Rebirth 3-pack. And here he is, next to the Amazon exclusive Atomic Skull vs. Superman 2-pack. Then, next to the Batman Ultimate Movie 6-pack. And now, next to some Entertainment Earth exclusive gold label figures, we have the Sketch, Reverse Superman, and the Batman at Last, then the Black Light, Infinite Frontier, Joker, and Scarecrow. Here's Black Lightning. Next to some recent Amazon exclusive Glow in the Dark figures, we have John Stewart, Green Lantern, Swamp Thing, and the Infected Batman. Then, next to the two most recent McFarlane Mega figures, the Justice Buster and Anti Monitor. And finally, next to the Hush Superman, the Tim Drake Rowman, and both versions of the DC Classics Riddler. Now let's check them out. Next is some action figures from different various companies, so we can see how he fits in, both scale and style-wise, in case you don't know which lines you can mix them with. Since he's a McFarlane toy, they're typically the seven inch scale. I'm gonna start off my comparisons with some of the larger action figure lines I collect, and we're quite smaller. But first, let's check them out with some of his McFarlane toys brothers. In front of you are five different action figure lines, all from McFarlane toys, all seven inch scale, and now, with some Jack specific and some DST or Diamond Select toys. And here he is. Next to some DC Direct and some NECA figures. Then next to a container of olive oil. And now next to both some Mattel and some Jazzwares wrestling figures. Here's Black Lightning. Next to some Mezco and some Mattel DC figures. Then next to some Mafex and some Hasbro Marvel Legends. And finally next to some SH figure arts and some Jazzwares Fortnite figures. So overall Black Lightning's a good figure, but he's not a great figure because of all the things I complained about earlier and I'm going to complain about right now again. So, the Speeding Bullet's body, it's good for the Speeding Bullet's Batman, but it has a lot of unique things that they left on this guy they shouldn't have done. The torso, no problem there. The arms, legs, big problem there. That sculpted stuff going up and down the sides, which is inaccurate to Black Lightning, and they could have used Batman's arms, Superman's arms, all kind of other arms that would have fit to this torso. Then we have the diver piece. There are probably a hundred different diver pieces they could choose from. And they chose one with a Batman belt that they left on there and then put a lightning belt on top of the Batman belt. Like I said, it's not even lazy. It's just stupid. Lazy would be reusing something that makes sense. This is lazy and stupid. Beyond that, I think the figure looks good. Paint job, excellent. I like his hair. I like the lightning on the outfit. I like the different shades of blue. Sculpt, paint job excellent. Articulation's good. Accessories, I love those lightning hands. And the fact that they react to black light is so cool. And I don't think it's even intentional. It's just the way the transparent plastic works to black light. And that is awesome. If I were to rate this guy, I'd give him a 7 out of 10. Except for all those flaws. That is easily going to bump down to a 6. And I think that's being generous in my book. I'm still really happy to have this figure. I'm really happy to check a modern Black Lightning off my list, but I'm very disappointed with the lazy and stupid reuse. Like I said, I don't have a problem with reuse. If they had just picked some better arms, better legs, and a different diaper, this guy would easily be a seven, probably a 7.5. But as it is, I'm giving him a six. And like I said, I think that's generous because of all the complaints I have. So this is D Hunter. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked the video, press like below. If you have anything you want to say about the video, add to the comment section. If you want to see additional action figure reviews from me, press subscribe. I do appreciate when you do that. Once again, this is D Hunter. Thank you guys for watching this video. 
and I will talk to you guys real soon.